music now. When you uh, talk about some of the most influential bands in music history, the name Diamond Head doesn't immediately come to mind. In fact, most of you have probably never even heard of the Stourbridge Band. But for many of the biggest heavy metal bands in the world, the group are the reason they formed in the first place. This weekend, Diamond Head played the biggest concert of their 35-year career, and Ben Sidwell was there. This is Sonosphere, the biggest touring music festival in the world. This weekend it's been in the UK at Nebworth, with 60,000 people there each day to see some of the biggest names in rock and heavy metal. Tonight's headliners, Metallica, are probably the biggest heavy metal band in the world, having played to millions and millions of people during their career. The odd thing is, they probably wouldn't be here at all if it wasn't for a small, fairly unknown band from Stourbridge. Diamond Head are a heavy metal band who formed in Stourbridge back in 1976. This weekend they played the biggest gigs of their career. Over two nights, both here in England and in France, they performed to more than 100,000 people. I came here in 1979 to see Led Zeppelin and uh, you know that was as, as big as it got and I just thought oh, you know I'd never be on a stage this big and now uh, you know scroll forward 30 years and uh, I've just done Nebworth you know so it's awesome you know. Although Diamond Head have never had much commercial success or sold many records their influence on the heavy metal music scene is huge. Yeah, you you're the then? guy, <laughs> you're the reason we're here. <laughs> oh, well, oh you. <laughs> you're, the, yeah, you're the guy that wrote all those songs that yeah. made us, and that influenced and made us kind of who we are and we owe all this to you. Metallica have sold over 100 million records worldwide. As a 17-year-old in Los Angeles, drummer Lars Ulrich was a huge Diamond Head fan. He travelled to the UK to see them play live and spent five weeks with the band. So we took to him, you know, and he was, you know, full of energy and friendly. And uh, so I invited him, you know, where you stop in and come and stay with me, you know, if you want. On his return to America and inspired by his time in Stourbridge, Lars put an advert in the paper looking to form a band. The result was Metallica. I just watched that rise to the top uh, with, with astonishment, really, that this, this guy who came over and stayed with me is now you're the biggest band in the world, how's that happened, you know? If it wasn't for Brian Tattler, there's a pretty good chance that none of us would be here tonight, alright? Give it up for Brian Tattler one more time! At the end of the night, the members of Metallica, Anthrax, Slayer and Megadeth, who are known as Heavy Metal's Big Four, took to the stage with Brian to perform a Diamond Head song. Yet another sign of just how highly they all regard this Stourbridge band. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands today at the Sonosphere Festival. How fantastic. What a night for them, great night. I have night. been asking Metallica a few times. Uh -huh, but not Diamond Terrific. Head. Terrific, that's true. Now. Now. Right, let's find out how the weather's looking. Here's Shafali. Thank you very much.